So Mr. Barry, tell us. This is awesome. We're too young, I thought, to ever see this happen, and now we've got trucks with doolies on, and you know, a legit mud pit, and trucks from all over the place. It's gonna be awesome. I'm like a little kid again. Sure, the axles are gonna support it? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first, I mean, tell us about some of the excitement in the monster truck world about what Jeff Cook's got going on here with these events. I mean, you know, we've got a few guys floating around. We'll try to catch a few of them here and talk to them some more. But, you know, the appreciation of what used to go on in this industry and bringing that back and showing some of the fans who are only used to monster trucks as they are now and giving them a chance to see some history. It's pretty neat and the folks in monster trucks are pretty excited about it. Well, they're way excited about it. In fact, uh, uh, some of you might recognize when you see him walking around, but Charlie Pawkin, a grave digger driver, uh, you know, world champion also, he's wandering around here and, and he's, too, he's, he's giddy like a schoolgirl because I mean, this brings us all way back, man. This is how we all got going. Uh, we got started in the mud, and then we built the, the monster truck. And I mean, this is this is where we got. So we'd have a line of 12 cars, man. You weren't clear. You you were happy if you cleared one car. And uh, it, it's so different than I mean, the suspensions you'd use. You know, maybe two inches of suspension travel, and the rebound would be higher than the jump. But uh, you know, it's cool to see these. In fact, Alan Pizzo was just telling me I used to drive the Bush Hog way back in the 80s, and uh, I don't know. Probably no one even remembers that one. But I said, you gotta bring the bush hog back now. And I was like, man, no, this is <laughs> this is very, this is getting us all going. But I know there's a lot of guys that have been in it for years that are looking at this saying, yeah, this, let's bring these old trucks out of the out of the woods and, and put them back together because it, it's, it's very cool. And, and we drove down here, it was only like 170 miles for us. And we had, we've known Jeff for years and he asked us if we'd be interested in coming down and we're gonna try to get a, interview later with Little Miss Dangerous herself. We'll see if she does that for us. But, uh, you know, it, it's fun. I mean, we do like 35 to 40 events a year. We travel from January till October, and here we are in one of our off weekends at another one. So, I mean, it's in your blood, and it's fun, and um, yeah, th this is awesome. I mean, I, I'm, 
I'm excited about this too. I, I don't know how good of an announcer I'll be because I might be out there hollering just like the rest of the fans.
Little Miss Danger truck. Giving out our signature okay. fresh um, made cookies. Hang tight here, so we gotta get this truck out of the pit. We'll out of Belleville, Michigan. You know it. We've got live wire Johnny up here. This is live. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. I greatly appreciate it. Originally yeah, called man. the Polar Bear. This is going to be amazing. So everybody knows. Okay. <laughs> 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 